When you're on TV, there are all sorts of tricks that we can use to make ourselves taller. Or maybe even shorter. <laughs> but what about actually making a permanent change with surgery? It's something that's been around for more than 100 years, but lately the perception around what's called cosmetic limb lengthening has been changing. Uh, well, a man from California flew here to West Palm Beach to get the surgery to grow three inches. He agreed to talk to CBS 12 News reporter Andrew Lothholm about why he did it. Rich Rotella carries this handwritten white card with 16 recognizable names in his wallet. I've got Elijah Wood, 5'6", Pacino, 5'7", Pesci, 5'4". They're all leading actors and they're all 5'7", or shorter. So the card in my wallet is so that I can talk back to a casting director in a respectful sense. Because I have had them go, you're too short to play the lead. So I've actually pulled out their card and gone, bam, bam, bam. Rich is 5'5". Five, five. The 37-year-old has been working as an actor in Hollywood for 12 years now. What are you doing? Putting on makeup? No, contour. Here he is in a commercial with Betty White. Well, let's let the laundry get done. So tell me, career-wise, how you think being three inches taller yeah. is going to help. That's a big one. Thank you for asking. The reality is most lead male actors um, in television, in film, are at least 5'8 or taller. As much as it might help acting, Rich says he started to feel self-conscious about his height in middle school. In college, he began to consider doing something about it, but the timing wasn't right. As Hollywood production slowed down during the pandemic, Rich was on YouTube trying to scratch that same itch that just wouldn't go away. He found this page, Cyborg for Life, run by a man named Victor Iganu. Fixated it with screws above the brake. When Victor was 11, he broke his left tibia at the growth plate in a bad rollerblading crash, stunting its growth. Because his legs were two different lengths, he developed scoliosis. About 10 years ago, he had his left leg lengthened. I was able to take my first steps after the surgery. Like, tears started to like kind of well up. It's crazy. I can, I'm, it's actually making me a little emotional right now because it's like, I knew that that was going to be the, you know, the the best of the rest of my life. Rich and Victor connected on Instagram, quickly becoming friends and business partners. Their plan? Rich would get the surgery and make a documentary about it, then try to sell the film to a major streaming service sometime next year. Before we knew it, we finally lined up the cards and we got some the top surgeon in the world, Dr. Dror Paley. Um, we got a few sponsors and uh, we made this project happen. West Palm Beach-based orthopedic surgeon Dr. Dror Paley started the Paley Institute on the grounds of the St. Mary's Medical Center. He's been making people taller for more than 30 years. I'm Italian, so I have to give you a bottle of red. It's All part right, of my wow. culture, but Great. please drink this after the surgery. Absolutely. Not before. Rich is his next patient. When you cut a bone, it immediately starts making new bone because bone's a living substance. And when you pull it apart, as long as you go very slowly, it can keep up with the separation between the bone ends and it keeps making new bone. If all goes well, when the bone heals, it'll bridge that three inch gap with new bone and Rich will stand three inches taller. For comparison's sake, Rich will grow to around Victor and my height, around five foot eight. Over the years, the stigma has started to fade and Dr. Paley estimates he does about 100 cosmetic limb lengthenings annually. I remember this guy flew in from Holland, okay? He was 5'11". Okay, I'm 5'11 and a half. We're looking eye to eye, right? And I'm like wondering why he's here. And at that time, I was early in my career, and I refused to lengthen him because it didn't make sense to me. Now I lengthen people 5'11 who really see themselves as short. The biggest thing I would say is this, is watch out for judgment because a lot of people are not going to understand your choice to do this. You're perfectly healthy, but for some reason, you want to be taller? Oh, you're crazy, or oh, that's ridiculous. Really? Have you lived in that person's shoes for 20, 30, 40 years? So tomorrow's the big day. How are you feeling right now? <sighs> uh, you know, I'd be, I'd be lying if I wasn't a little nervous. You know, in less than 24 hours, both of my legs are broken, technically, with, you know, the precise nail inside. Well, that was our Andrew Lofholm reporting. Now, the price tag on this surgery is about $100,000. And since it's a cosmetic surgery, insurance does not cover it. Yeah, you know, and not so fast. Hollywood, no additions yet. Rich will actually have to stay in our area for three months so the doctor can monitor his progress. And we want to monitor it, too, so we're going to bring you an update on Rich in a few weeks.